the Blue Mountain Antique Gas and Steam Engine Association held their annual winter show at the Jacktown Grove in Bangor, PA. The weather was decent this year, so there were more vendors and plenty of shoppers. Let me take you for a walk around the flea market.
I was tempted to bring home an Elvis item. I also spotted a distant relative of Chuck's. I ended up spending $10 at the show. Let me show you what I got. I bought this item only because I didn't know what it was. Let me show you opening and closing. So make your guesses in the comments. At the very end of the video, I'll let you know what I found out about it. There's some good patent information there. I'm sure I'll be able to find something. I'm usually able to find perfect handle screwdrivers at Jacktown, and this time was no exception. There's two. Pretty good size, perfect handle style screwdrivers. They were a dollar a piece. I bought this because I thought it was interesting. It's sort of like a perfect handle screwdriver, but the handle material seems like some kind of some kind of press board or something. It's almost coming apart like paper or cardboard. I thought that would be a good candidate for a handle replacement. I don't know what it is about these little hammers. I dig them. This one's in pretty good shape. It's straight. The end's a little beat up, but... They always clean up nice. I think I might have three of these now. I guess that means I'm a collector, huh? It's got a ratcheting mechanism, and you can choose from, looks like three bits. That might make a good cleanup video. I almost didn't buy this next one. It's a screw holding screwdriver craftsman and it's got the mange I was running low on these though right I found this smaller Hopefully you can see that proto Phillips tip. It's not my favorite handle style. These are pretty collectible. And this last item, again, I bought mostly for its collectability. It's a Stanley. 66-208 it's like a smoky translucent handle my buddy Brian picked out a few items for me he knows Big Vic collects these so this will be uh, headed down to Big Vic sometime check out this little hammer Brian thought it looked like it was almost chuck sized Same thing with this pokey thing. It's like a chuck size pokey thing. Now this stuff here, let me show you the ad. So, it's apparently some kind of polishing kit. There are these polishing rods and a mandrel. Here's the mandrel. That goes in your Dremel. And then these polishing rods go in the mandrel. And the different colors are, I guess, different grits of polish. I'll have to see how that works out. I'll have to give them a try. 
Thanks, Brian. And my friend Dave hooked me up with these 3D printed leg catches for that Black & Decker Workmate workbench that I got in the free pile a couple weeks back. I'm excited to install these and see how they work. Thank you very much, Dave. The Jacktown Snow Show was a lot of fun this year. Way better than last year when it was stupid cold out. There was a lot more vendors and lots of folks shopping. It was really nice to catch up with uh, friends too. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. The mystery tool was made by J.N. McDonald and Company out of Hartford, Connecticut. According to the July 26, 1910 patent. It is a chain repairing implement. The patent reissue date was actually August 3rd, 1915, not August 2nd as on the tool. The necessity tire chain repair tool was used to expand and compress chain links while still on the wheel. If you guessed what this tool was, give yourself a pat on the back.